All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Yeah. Yeah. We got a big one this Monday. So this big. is not only a, I guess, a info on our product. It is also a launch of our product that yeah. we've all been waiting for. So this is the launch of our collagen. And I know this has been a long sought after supplement because the many, 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 many requests that we have received for it. And then also questions about it. And I know you guys are so eager to learn about it. And I promise you today, you are going to learn everything that you need to know. Uh, I was getting a lot of emails the past couple of days and I just kept saying, tune in on Monday, guys. Tune in on yeah, Monday. Yeah, they are. Look, you got a bunch of, a lot of you here, awesome. guys. Everybody's Hi, everybody. Out. Very All cool. right. Very cool. And again, this will be live later today. So you're going to get as much as info as you need here. And then you're going to get online later today and make your purchase. So most of you again know about collagen, but if you don't know about collagen, I want you to understand that it is the most abundant protein in the body. It's a big deal. Hmm. Um, we we all have collagen. Um, we are all made up of it. And we're it some is, of us are losing it. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> it's literally the glue that holds everything together: hair, skin, nails, bones, joints, um, our artery lining, intestines. I mean, I'll, we'll get into more detail of that, yeah. but it's literally everywhere in our body yeah. and the very 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 sad thing is everything is with aging is we start to lose it as we age <laughs> so really it starts in our 20s guys 20s we start to lose one percent every year very sad um and then by the time what by the time we get to 50 that's 25 percent by the time we get to 75 years of, of age that's we've lost 50 percent and if you guys can all relate um you can notice it like mm -hmm. even when you like pinch your skin I mean, me too so i've definitely lost them you pinch your skin and it kind of stands up a little bit it just doesn't have that plumpness you start to see little um minor little wrinkles and crevices in your skin um yeah. i mean it, you can feel it in your joints uh, yeah. things don't you know you exercise and everything kind of hurts a little more i mean this is just our loss of collagen so mm -hmm. we really need to make sure that we are replenishing restoring that collagen by supplementing with it such a big deal. Um, signs, some signs are wrinkled skin, saggy skin, brown sc mm -hmm. spots on your skin, rough oh. texture, you know, just don't feel as soft, brittle um, hair and nails. I mean, we can all relate to this, especially as females, because I know we're more in tune with things that happen like this. Um, intestinal issues, leaky gut. I mean, the collagen is part of our gut lining. Um, leaky gut is, you know, a loose medical, a, a loose term used sure. to describe um, when food substances actually get out of our gut lining uh, to where they're not supposed to be. And a lot of this uh, shows up as like food intolerances. We all think we have food sensitivities. We can't tolerate this, this anymore. It, a lot of it can come from the loss of collagen, um, bone fractures, joint pain. I mean, the list goes on. So, I mean, that's uh, my little intro to collagen. And I know Ryan's going to, we're going to kind of bounce back and forth. With yeah, it. He's going to yeah, intro yeah. it a little more and then talk about our product. Yeah, so at least you're spot on. Wow. I mean, it's not a, just a vanity thing either. You, like you said, it's visible, right? Like you're pulling your skin. I always say yeah, we can pull our skin. You can see the, the elasticity, right? The snapback of your skin shows hydration, but it also shows the collagen. And uh, it's like Lisa said, collagen is the most prominent protein in our body. But what's unique about collagen is it's a, technically a, 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 a triple helix. You guys might, may remember your days in school where our DNA is a double helix. Well, collagen actually has this very unique matrix and its structure is done as a triple helix. And it has a very atypical amino acid sequence. What does that mean? Just not normal compared to other proteins. And so that's why people, a lot of times, you get questions about collagen versus just normal dietary protein. Well, there are a lot of differences and it has to do with exactly that the amino acid sequence. Okay. But it's incredible when you start to really dig into collagen. And for years, I was one of those people that were sort of a naysayer. I was like, mm, I don't see it. I don't see it absorbing. And that was really kind of back in the early days when it was a larger, larger uh, collagen molecule. And now they hydrolyze it. So it breaks it down into smaller peptides. And peptides are just smaller protein segments. They're just smaller amino, like amino acid uh, fragments. And so that's now why collagen has become such a hot uh, topic and product for people because it does absorb pretty well, actually. So, awesome. yeah, so we're going to dive in. We're going to talk a little, a lot on the science about collagen. We're going to debunk some myths and we're going to go through 
a lot of the, what makes this product so incredibly unique. Um, but that's, that was, I mean, another thing too, I want to mention too, is when you look at collagen and the strength of collagen because of that matrix and the way that it creates this structural support for all of our tissues, mm -hmm. you talked about elasticity, you talked about the stretch, there's pliability. That's one of the reasons why um, the arteries start to become stiff and they harden because of the decrease in collagen. So obviously narrowing, narrowing of the artery is not ideal. And so that's again, contributed to obviously inflammation, but also collagen, the matrix of collagen. So guys, lots of crazy stuff. Gram for gram, collagen matrix is stronger than steel. And be crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> I mean, it really is nuts. So I'm excited about it. Um, there are roughly how many types, Lisa? Is it 29? 29, 29, 29 different types of collagen. So that's things we talk about a lot too. Um, Which we don't necessarily hear about all those, right? No, those, you really don't. Right. You really don't. You, you predominantly hear about type one and type three for good reason. Those are the most well studied. They're the hot, most effective. Uh, and not, type one makes up 90% of our collagen protein in our okay. body. So then, so then the yeah. other 10% is left to types two and two through 29. Well, they're not, they're not numbered sequentially like that, but yes, exactly. Gotcha. The other types, right? right? So, um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm glad we talked about the atypical structure of that though, because that's a big one. That amino acid sequence is, is really unique to collagen. So everybody's you, dying to know though. Yeah. What about what is so good about our collagen? Yeah. What makes it so powerful <laughs> and what makes it stand above the rest? I love how you keep me on track. Awesome. <laughs> Look, um, we decided to go with bovine type one, type one and three. Sorry, we went with bovine collagen peptides. A, they're most well studied. B, they're effective. And then when you look at um, being again, 90, 90, over 90% of collagen protein is type one. We decided, okay, we only want to go with bovine if we can source the highest quality. And Lisa, I know you were really instrumental in making sure this happens. So you want grass fed, you want pasture raised, you want and grass finished. Um, and that's really important 100%. when it comes to bovine, you know? So, um, and of course that that's just part of the story here because focus, focusing on type one and three. And then when you start talking about all the other ingredients in the product and the things that we did and the things that we intentionally left out, I think you'll start to see, we, we went with an unflavored and that's really important as well, because you can add it to any drink. You can add it to your baked goods. You can add it to your foods. But if you notice here, guys, when you're looking at the colors, and we'll talk about this in a little bit. Some of these ingredients, because of the polyphenol content and the bioactives, they actually lend a very nice, rich earthy tone to it. And it has like a light tea flavor, which is incredible. It's, it's really great. Uh, unflavored and just nothing else really is, is like this on the market. Right, yeah. right. So. And there's some key uh, ingredients that we've added to it. Sure, absolutely. So we went, we, we wanted to add some ingredients that complement it because like Lisa said, it covers everything from skin, hair, and nails. I mean, it has incredible tensile strength as we talked about it's in the arteries. Many people don't realize, like Lisa said, the gut health and the joint support, cartilage. I mean, so we just said, look, let's let's take the type one and three because we know those are superior types from the good, clean um, bovine collagen source, and let's enhance it. So we added bioactives with poly polynol, poly, one of a kind, guys. We're not even seeing it on the market yet. We're like first to market with this ingredient. Um, we did uh, velocitol, a preflex, and hyaluronic acid. Now, guys, these patented ingredients, I want to I want to make a comment on this real quick, because these patented ingredients, why are they important? Why are they called this? Because at the end of the day, it's actually not what the active ingredient is. But these patented ingredients are, they're well studied. So the main reason to use a patented ingredient is because you are allowed to use the supporting literature and the studies that they have commissioned. That's really important. The second part that's also really important is you know their sourcing, their consistency. You know their quality assurance procedures. You know everything about it. And it's again, the product is extremely consistent. There's not a lot of variability. And when you look at one, if you look at like the preflex, the Boswellia, and you're going to see, you're going to see that it is sustained, similar to the ashwagandha we use in our super green. It's a sustainable, ethical sourcing. It's regenerative to the earth. It's a botanical ingredient, and it's standardized because a lot, like a lot of herbs, um, you know. You can buy them in different sources, but you want to buy them standardized. So this one is standardized. And they all offer unique, different benefits to this problem. Okay. Yeah. Are we you going to give us a, any of the details of the benefits? Sure, of absolutely. Let's do it. Let, let, let's do that. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. So polynol, 
polynol is one that we went with. And like I said, it's one of a kind. I'm not seeing it on the market anywhere else. I feel like we're first to market. It's rich in bioactives and polyphenols and antioxidants, but it has a list. And I would have to read some of these, a list of benefits and the way and the mechanism of action that it works. But there's two key elements that really caught my attention early on is that it inhibits elastase and collagenase. Now those two enzymes are responsible for breaking down collagen and elastin. And like you said, we're naturally losing collagen at a rate of 1% starting in our 20s. And so half the battle is preventing that loss. Like, I wish I started collagen supplementation in my teens and early 20s. I mean, come on, you know, I'm early 40s right now. But it doesn't mean it's too late. Obviously, you just want to get in and start now because, of course, and collagen plays so many other roles. Right. So but you're saying... We've got the collagen in there to help replace the collagen, but then we also have an ingredient in there to stop the breakdown of yeah, collagen. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Really amazing, guys. It, it, exactly, exactly. And the polynol actually acts as a COX inhibitor too, which is a anti-inflammatory effect. So COX inhibitors are actually drugs on the on the pharmaceutical market. Um, there's beneficial, there's benefits for heart health and blood pressure. It works on the ACE um, enzyme. So that's a lot of blood pressure medications work as an ACE inhibitor. So you have all these benefits of anti-inflammatory. Uh, they work on the enzymes of collagen and elastin. And so it helps preserve and slow down the breakdown of collagen. Yeah, Very cool. so so big, so big. Um, then we've got a preflex. We have, uh, hold on, let me see real quick. So I want to I make a point on that. But the preflex, like I said earlier about Boswellia is standardized, but it's really, really good for uh, muscle health. So it's helping pro muscle protein synthesis and joint health. And so it's superior. Like, again, it's a one of a kind ingredient. Cool. Yeah, I love it. I love Very it. exciting stuff. And then, of course, we have an amylopectin. That's the, the velocitol ingredient. Again, awesome for joint support. And because that's another thing that we want to go for with this. But many people use collagen thinking that it's going to help just immediately with, with the joint support, and it will. But by adding in an ingredient like velocitol, to, and a preflex to help with the joint support is just so much more added benefit because that's a lot of what people are looking for out of the collagen. They're right. looking for something to help them with their chondroitin, their glucosamine. And again, you'll see that another ingredient we added is hyaluronic acid. Right. And, and that helps. We actually get a lot of questions yeah. or, or requests for like a glucosamine or type supplement. Yeah, we knew sure. that we were incorporating uh, an ingredient in here to act like it. Yeah, exactly. And the hyaluronic acid will help actually slow down the breakdown of carbage. So awesome. talking about joint health and joint support. So, so that basically, yeah, and that's it, guys, because there's no flavoring. We went with unflavored. There's no other ingredients. It's in a powder form, so you don't have to add preservatives and, and, and stabilizers and different things like that. Awesome. And really, uh, you know, just to give you a little bit of the supplement facts, and I know it's not on our site yet. Yeah. But you guys, one scoop, your scoop is in here. One scoop is 50 calories, two carbohydrates, 10 grams of protein. That gives you 11 grams of the collagen peptides. I mean, that's a big deal. Um, so. When you are comparing to other products, I want you to make sure you compare the supplement packs. You compare the type that's in there now that you just learned of why we chose type one and type three. Um, you compare added ingredients. Are they good mm -hmm. added ingredients like we did? Or are they things that we really don't want to be taking? You've got to compare the the, the big picture. Right. Um, now you'll see as they put their gluten-free, non-GMO, keto-friendly, dairy-free, mm -hmm. sugar-free, um, mm -hmm. which is, is a big one. And um, members, Members, you get this for $27.95, retail for $39.95. Okay. So there's a lot of beneficial stuff in here um, and uh, a lot mm -hmm. of expensive ingredients. So this is our $27.95 for yeah. members, guys. Yeah, you got to do it. Right. Um, mm -hmm. We are going to take questions, but right off the bat, I know there's three main ones. Well, actually, you just talked about the type. Okay. Okay. But there's so that there's two other ones that I okay. already are already getting a lot of. Liquid versus powder. Oh boy. And then marine. Why, you know, if someone's requesting marine, let's first tackle the liquid oh. versus powder because I know this is a lot and Ryan has been dying to, to dissect this for you guys. Guys, well, Lisa, let me ask you a question. What are you going to do with this powder before you consume it? You're going to put it in liquid. Okay. All right. <laughs> Done. Conversation's over. Next question. Okay, let's go into the science. So, Kevin, um, chemically speaking, powders are going to be your most stable not liquids. However, everything has to be in liquid form or in some solution in order to be absorbed in the body. So let's go with the least. Uh, so let's look at it from, say, do different dosage forms. We'll start in a tablet. It's a compressed powder, right? It has to disintegrate and it has to dissolve. It has to go into solution in the stomach before it can be absorbed. 
So that's probably the slowest process, right? But big pharma uses it, we know they work. Then we go to a capsule or a soft gel, has a thin outer lining, contents inside can be oils, can be fat or can be powders. Very quickly, that outer layer, that shell, especially in our capsules, vegetable capsules, dissolves rapidly. All right, inside the powders and whatever, then it mixes with stomach contents again into a into a slurry, and then we're there again. Okay, then we go to powders. Well, if we were just strictly consuming a powder somehow without any liquid, just dry powdering, yeah, it wouldn't be bad once it got there. I don't know how you'd get through it, but ultimately you're putting powders into liquid, and that's all that these companies are doing with liquids. But in order, here's my two problems with it, guys. I want to ensure three things in any supplement. I want to ensure identity. I want to ensure potency and I want to ensure purity. All right. Now, when you have these liquid supplements, they are extremely prone to degradation, meaning their active ingredients start to break down pretty quickly. So that would be your potency issue. All right. There's a shelf life issue there. Then your third thing is aqueous solutions. So again, talking about liquids that tend to have any water component to it are very prone to microbial contamination. What is that? That's molds, that's yeast, that's bacteria. So what do these companies do? They load them with preservatives. When they're doing this preservative load, they're saying it's for freshness. So I'll give you a couple of examples, ascorbic acid, uh, potassium sorbate. They're saying it's for freshness. What they're trying to say is that it's just to prevent mold, yeast, bacteria from growing. Okay, great. What happens to the pH when you start adding things like potassium sorbate? Well, guys, collagen is, is, is pH neutral. So if I've just taken my solution and made it acidic, what do you think is happening to the potency of the collagen? Yeah, yeah come on. Like, so you, got, you can't have it all, all, always, obviously. And then of course, because it's in water or in flavor, you want to flavor it. You're going to have to add solubilizers. You have to add stabilizers. You have to have buffers. I mean, guys, that's assuming they're even caring about the pH, which guys, I've not seen a single dietary supplement company yet publish any data on stability, pH, solubility, anything, anything. Potassium sorbate has upper limit effectiveness of around like pH of 6.5. Well, pH neutral is around seven, right? So again, this, this collagen sitting on the shelf in liquid is starting to degrade. It is breaking down. Nobody is talking about that. So again, what did I say earlier? Powder is the most stable form. What do you think that powder, what do you think that liquid mix that they serve you in a multi-use bottle or even single-use bottle? What do you think it was prior to them mixing it? It was a powder. Wait, so when making it in the lab, yeah. you're literally taking it's a, powder, it's a powder, putting guys. it into a liquid so so I, bottling it and selling it. Mm. Now you get it in a powder and you make your own liquid and it's exactly more, potent, more it, pure. It, 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 and it really is. And that's exactly my point. I'm not trying to be sarcastic, but I don't, I just want to make sure that that answer is is over the top clear right that a powder is a superior format for something like this collagen for sure right. for sure as a matter of fact the liquid market is, is pretty hard to keep clean label i don't see i haven't i haven't seen a single one and to maintain effectiveness right and even some of the labels that we're reviewing this morning of the the liquids i'm not going to name like specific brands but there was one like you look at it and it was just your if it's a very well-known um liquid collagen it's your proprietary blend that the collagen peptides are just kind of slid into that proprietary blend of, I think it was like 4.3 grams, but the list of other ingredients in there was like this big yep. and it's sweet and it's, you can't, I mean, one of the benefits, like we love to put collagen in our coffee, put it in your tea, um, drink it straight, put it in your smoothie. It's just so versatile. Yeah, exactly. Good on point. top of all the other reasons that, that powders more beneficial. Yeah, absolutely. Good point on that. They do. They sprinkle in a bunch of color proprietary blend. You guys have no idea how much of each peptide right. is contained within the, the serving size. Right. I, I'm not going to consume something that, like that. I agree. And I don't want you guys to either, whether it's our product or another product. I'll tell you straight up. Okay, yeah. perfect. And quick switch, because then we have a lot of questions that I'm going to try to get through. But just the marine. Uh, oh, the marine one comes up a lot. That, right. Sure. And what does marine mean? just means... Uh, Marine environment related. I mean, just fish. It could be. Here's the problem. I think most of the time now it's a collab. It's a farm raised fish, right? But the amino the amino acid sequence is different. It doesn't match up along with bovine. As a matter of fact, bovine has been approved for dermal fillers and things by the FDA to go into skin. It closely matches the human collagen content. So it's the composition. Sorry. So when you look at marine, you look at eggshell, you look at chicken um, uh, uh, sternum. Yeah, they're just different. They have different amino acid sequences and compositions. And at the end of the day, it was not an easy decision. It's not like 
it was it wasn't as easy as the powder liquid conversation. Let's just put it that way. I considered all of it. One time I had them all in there and I'm like, ah, oh, it just doesn't work. It's not working. I couldn't force it. I just didn't want to make put a square through a round peg, you know, and I just could not get there. So I did a lot of research on it. I looked at the stability, even the heat stability of the cold water fish versus warm water. I looked at the benefits and the pros and cons of farm raised and at sustainability. And then a lot of marine at one time was using uh, uh, different things like shark was in there, believe it or not. There was different types of mackerels. There was all these blends of, of marine creatures, even jellyfish. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not there. I can't get there. The evidence doesn't support it. And look, we wanted to give you guys the best quality product. And so. what type is marine? Type two? Yeah, no, you have type one. Type, it's just yeah. type one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then bovine, we have type one and type three. Yeah. So uh, another benefit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. I'm going to try to speed over there. Oh, let's get some questions. Okay. Yeah. I'm awesome. just because. I think we're already running late, you guys. I think this is this a big This is a big topic. topic. Yeah. And it's a launch. I yeah. mean. Um, with regards to pregnancy, you always check with your obstetrics um, physician. Collagen is not vegan because it's bovine. Gave you the final price. You can buy it later this afternoon. This afternoon. Very um, light tea flavor, taste wise. It's very super light. Super light. light. It's unflavored. That's just it. It is unflavored. We put no flavoring. If you had to search for something, you could say maybe you can taste a light tea flavor. But honestly, so versatile in anything, and it's really delicious to drink plain. Um, can I? You can take as many products that we have daily. Thirty servings in a bag, for that price, unbelievable. And Lisa said it right. We picked such high quality ingredients, guys, and the way the companies work with these branded ingredients and these trademarked ingredients, they're not cheap. They are not cheap. They're the most expensive, highest quality ingredients on the market. Um, I mean. Topical, yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so sorry, we're just scrolling here a little bit. Some of the questions, we've, we've actually answered a lot of these. Um, yeah, good question. Absolutely. A velocitol, for sure. I was going after your cartilage and joint health from the type two perspective. You got it. Good question. Is that genius? Mm -hmm. The heart aspect is encouraging. I agree. From a cardioprotective perspective and the way that the collagen lines our arteries and our vasculature, it's very impressive. 30 servings per bag. Yeah, said that. Uh, using a smoothie. Yes. That's how I choose to use my collagen. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else did I want to say? Will it be available in a package with the other supplements or just sold on its own? I mean, it will go into the everything pack for sure, but other than that, not 100% sure at the moment. Can you add it to reds and aminos? 100%, guys, this can yes. be added to anything. I mean, I know a lot of us, we have a lot of powders and we're all, you know, time strapped. I, I love the convenience of it. And if you're not like super picky and your taste profile is fine, just dump them all in one. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Especially in a smoothie. Anything with our protein powder, guys, it's so good. Lisa, you said something earlier about dark spot, or you said something about skin yeah, changes. Yeah, like the age spot. The polyenol actually reduces dark spot. Okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah, and it has a UV protective. So that polyenol, it's a sugarcane extract, it, it actually is UV protective. I'm going to post, we're going to post to a social media post on the benefits of polyenol. There's so many. It's really an incredible product or ingredient, sorry. So remember, on sale this afternoon, guys. You will see it up on the website this afternoon. I don't know. Not vegan. This is bovine. Bovine. And if you're vegetarian and you would like to take it, I mean, that's completely up to you. It is not vegan or vegetarian, though. It can be mixed with anything. No um, issues with heat. It's heat stable. And also, you know, baking it is because you don't typically bake super, super, super hot. Um, I love to add collagen to anything I bake, yeah. just like I add our protein powder. Put well. it with your eggs in the morning. Honestly, you put it with any foods you want. You can have more than one serving a day. And at that price, that yeah, a lot of like... the, a lot of the, um, I was just reading about, you know, 10 to 40, you know, grams a day, mm. um, you know, so. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, guys, on dosing for collagen. Per serving, you know, anywhere between five and fifteen grams is is considered a an adequate dose. Has clinical studies to support that. You don't need much higher. You really, should, there's no need for it. Yeah, of course. I mean, losing okay. hair. As far as losing, look, who knows what the root cause of the loss of hair could be? But right. Like, I'll give you an example where we've we've all heard about um, cortisol, the stress hormone. Cortisol has a direct, it directly 
begins the degradation of the collagen. It literally starts to break down collagen. So guys, for us that are stressed, hair loss can also be as a result of cortisol, excess cortisol production. And uh, so, hey, manage your stress. We got to manage our stress. We all know that. And we have adaptogens too, guys. Remember that we have the, the uh, ashwagandha in our super greens. How much weight in the bag? I mean, 30 servings, but net weight is 13.76. Yeah, actually, uh, one, one, one scoop is 13 grams. Gotcha. 13.76 ounces. Each scoop is 13 grams. Okay. Yeah, you can put it in hot coffee. Yeah, I think Absolutely. a lot of days we've had that answer. To take before, after, that doesn't matter when you take it, any time of day, empty stomach, food in your stomach. 30 servings, if you use one a day, it will last a month. Run the you price miss down the again. price. $27.95 for members, $39.95 for retail. The contraindicated for anybody. I mean, Generally regarded as safe. I mean, that's the, the nature of collagen. It's a protein. It, it's in our foods. Uh, it's rich in skins of, of animal meats, uh, fish, skin. Um, any age restriction? Look, uh, we don't advertise age limits or restrictions. That's between, that's a personal decision. I would just say, if under 18, just ask the, the child's pediatrician. Yeah, sure. There you um, go. That's a safe bet. Personally, yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't give my child a whole scoop of it, but I put it in things. I'll add it to a smoothie for them. I add it to our baked goods. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, we're getting it from, you know, it's, it's natural. Pretty much best way, yeah, you know? So if you look at the preflex on the back, when you guys get the supplement facts, you'll see that, uh, and if, if you go and check out the preflex online, the clinical dose is 100 milligrams. And it's because the Boswellia is standardized. So you'll, you'll be able to check out and see that it's standardized to 20% AKBA, which is a really important, important thing when you're talking about herbals. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's being recorded. We'll post yeah, it on YouTube. Yeah, everything that we do is recorded and put on our YouTube Look, channel. Answer that question from Therese. It's not that necessarily you're going to see results all of a sudden very quick and responsive. What you're going to notice, and it's hard to tell because we look at ourselves all the time, but it's going to slow down the breakdown and it will start to be nourished the skin. It can hydrate the skin. It can help protect the skin. And it's not just the skin. I know we can talk about that, but, and it can, it gives the body all of the, all of the amino acids for the collagen to build, for, for it to build its um, triple helix. So it's possible that we've had sagging, wrinkling, pitted skin, or what these things called valleys. Um, you, you actually can start to fill those back in with collagen supplement. I mean, if you've, ever, if you've ever looked at yourself like really close, or if you've gone to an esthetician, you look at yourself really close in a, uh, you know, a camera or mirror, and you, you can see all those little crevices that start to form. And that's why we need this collagen, guys. We don't want that there. No, no if you're allergic to ACE inhibitors, you won't have an, won't have an issue. Uh, go down, go down. Other way, sorry. Oh. There you go. No, I think you're probably re referring to some of the side effects of ACE inhibitors, not necessarily an allergy to. Um, I actually can, I'll look into that for you further. Go back up a little bit. I just want to see if I can, to Eddie. Okay. Hey, Eddie, I'll look into that. Um, you're probably talking about some of that soft tissue, that edema, angioedema, like the swelling of the tongue or uh, even a dry cough. So we, I, I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. But let me look in. His question was, you, you can't take ACE inhibitors for blood pressure because it a contraindication with this gotcha. problem. Wow. Yeah, the prices yeah. on the collagen guys in the market. Someone paying close to two hundred dollars for I, their collagen. Once she was referring to area with, earlier with four point three grams, and I was talking about the potassium sorbate to use as a preservative right. in the liquid, is like one hundred and forty. Yeah. Dollars. I'm not sure how many servings, but no, thank you. I know, guys. Even if you don't choose this product, I'm I'm encouraging you to avoid liquids. I, I promise you cannot send me a good liquids formulation. Is there an upper limit? Mm -hmm. There's not really an upper limit, but besides the fact that you, you ultimately won't use it all. Right, right. You're just going mean, to waste it. So I don't think. 10 to 40. I mean, I, from right. what I was reading is. Yeah, that's a good like, question, you know. Courtney. No, it is not coming in liquid because we just talked about that. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. It can't. Oh, the diabetes comment. There is a there is a comment here. I have I printed something. Let me see what it says because I, I was so. So it reduces the glycemic response, activates insulin production from dysfunctional pancreatic cells. That's the polynol. 
So somebody asked about, does it benefit diabetes in, in any way? And of course you wanna activate your insulin your response, because a lot of times we're having insulin resistance, especially with type two and uh, metabolic syndrome. Um, I actually get this question a lot with our other supplements, because well. typically we say eight ounces of water, this year is eight to 12 ounces of water. Um, with our other powders, I like them to taste a little stronger. So I use a little bit less, but yeah, is too. there a reason that you could, you should not use less than eight ounces of water? No, just like you said, for flavor, I like, I like that. So hold up, in fact, because at drinking water, of course, this is all designed to help hydrate the skin and you need water to be properly hydrated, more so drink more than you actually bring tells you to drink. Obviously you can overhydrate, but guys, that is like crazy to do so. There is one other thing people need to know. They need vitamin C to build collagen. There's not vitamin C in here because I didn't want to have it oxidized. I didn't want it to have it potentially cause a stability issue. So make sure you're getting enough vitamin C. Any powder residue? I mean, guys, we just mixed no. this right before. Mm -hmm. I mean, it mixes so smoothly. It, it mean, does work. It does mix smooth. No, the amino acid that you want to take for muscle protein synthesis is different than what's in the collagen. The amino acid composition in collagen is different from the food-based proteins and the plant, oh. plant protein that we have. What do you the question was, oh. should I stop or reduce the amino acid intake since it is in the collagen? Mm. That's what he's saying. No, no, don't stop that. What does the collagen smell like? I mean, it actually has, I, I opened the bag and it's smelling. It has like a I don't know how. If it's hard to even describe a little bit of like that yummy, like. Yeah, it does. It has like tea. The, the hint of a tea. It's those polyphenols and flavonoids um, that are coming through. I can smell like the terpene like content of the plant, the essential oil essence of, of the plant. Um, our YouTube channel, guys, there uh, on the bottom of our website, you'll see the little icons. Um, click on that. It takes you straight to our YouTube channel. Easy peasy. I know what you mean, Kit, about the sagging skin and wrinkles. Yeah, no fun. <laughs> no fun. And it's not a vanity thing. I'll keep saying that, but I get it. I understand it totally. Um, side of your eyes from squinting. Again, I mean, there's a lot of signs of aging. Collagen is, of course, a big part of that. Wait, go up. Oh, That's yeah. different. Dark spots, yes. I did comment on the polyenol. I hope you caught that. Um, Polyenol actually has UV protection as well as dark spot. It's something to do with the melanin production and the way that it works. I can research that a little further. Let me make a note of that. It's an interesting question. You control melanin metabolism and dark spot reduction. That's the polyenol ingredient. Okay. Since we're it is keto friendly. Since we're having like a type of hydration and we talk about, I mean, the eyes. Does it help with dry eyes? Well, I mean, look, collagen is definitely part of the vitreous humor. Right. So it's part of the eyes. I mean, so there's a lot of benefit. Um, I mean, again, like you mentioned, it's the most common protein, prevalent protein in the body. Right. So I don't know that it could help with dry eyes, though. I really don't know that. Um, keto friendly, two grams of carbs. A lot of questions. I appreciate this. Um, Melasma, maybe. I mean, guys, there's hormonal disruptions too that are contributing depends. factors to melasma. So sometimes it depends on the root cause. It, but yes, exactly. it can. But if your root cause is something like completely like a hormone deficiency, yeah. like the college is not necessarily going to correct a hormone de deficiency to help your melasma. Correct. What is the acid problem? High blood pressure. Okay. I, I was just saying, I was just responding to a question about acid. A, 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 Person asked if um, if they can if they can take this product if, if they don't have if they're unable to take an ACE inhibitor. And I said I'd be searching further because there is some literature that supports polyenol. Polyenol works on the um, ACE enzyme. Um, am I getting too much of anything if they use all the live good vitamins? Absolutely not, guys. These are every single one of these is really designed to be using every single day in yeah, conjunction agree, with each other. With that, agree with that. Would it change the taste of the coffee? No, no, it definitely doesn't. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't comment on that. I guess not. Enough, so that's a good question about the vitamin C in the men's and women's. There's enough in there for sure to prevent scurvy. Basically, a vitamin C deficiency would start to eat in and prevent collagen production. So it's not like we're worried about getting enough. We should be getting enough vitamin C out of them. The men's and vitamins has enough, yes, to maintain the collagen production. No. What does that mean? The collagen the content of the collagen peptides, 
So, okay, one scoop is 13 grams. There's 30 servings per container. And in that scoop, you have 11 grams of collagen peptides. And then you have, of course, all the other ingredients, which we'll get you the supplement facts here real soon. I know, I hear you, Mike, on the arthritis and all that stuff, man. I'm telling you, you're gonna, hopefully you'll, you'll see some benefit. I pray that you will. I understand what a debilitating disease that can be. <laughs> Uh, what's the next one? Skin and yes, guys. Ask any like specific questions, like maybe medication questions. You always say send those in email. Um, because I know there's so many questions. We're trying to get through them all. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh now we gotta record the clock too. Thanks, we handle that. I'll finish these out. This is fun, guys, because this is real. This is us. We're in our house, not in some fancy office overlooking the water and spending a whole bunch of money on overhead and charging you guys ridiculous prices. I mean, I can't believe this is under 30 bucks because I know what it costs to make, guys. And we're not here. It's crazy. All right. Um, yeah, of course, the collagen is going to be live today, Claudia. You're going to find that on our site on the Learn More section. Uh, this afternoon, we're going to put it up on the website, so you'll see it this afternoon. Thank you. All right. All right, guys. Can it help with joint and ligaments? You betcha. You betcha. And I don't know. When I say can it help, look, I mean, guys, we're all different. We're all going to respond differently. But um, because it's such a unique amino acid composition, uh, we may not be getting enough of it from our diet. And with that, these added ingredients that we're putting in there, guys, I think we're going to see some Spectacular yeah. results. I'm really looking forward to the testimonials from you guys. You good? Keep going. Keep going. I'm just trying to get all the inflammation questions. We touched on those. Uh -oh. <laughs> if you have questions about medications and interactions, please feel free to email me. It's not fair to try to answer those on these. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you missed any part of this, it is going to be on the YouTube channel. And you'll be able to get that live this afternoon. <laughs> so much, just learned about his passion. You have all the cotton. So you can double up in the collagen for the first 30 days, and then you can taper down. Find out what works for you guys. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, I think you'll tolerate it well. I haven't heard any complaints. I mean, th this will help with hair and nails. Guys. Yeah, of course. Of course. Maybe we should try to repeat the question if we're answering questions. That might help. Um, it was it was know. saying, are we coming out with a hair and nail supplement? Oh, okay. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> we are coming out with a skin product, though. I'm teasing you now. That's going to be awesome. Oh, boy. Here uh, we go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fibromyalgia is a syndrome. That's a tough one to answer because I can't say for sure what the root cause will be. But uh, again, pain and inflammation, this product will help for sure. They've actually shown studies have shown hyaluronic acid to be as almost as, as effective, I think, as uh, certain anti-inflammatories. Uh, we don't have a maximum order. No, we don't have a maximum order on these. Um, and uh, I was asked for I was asked for my email. It's Lisa at live .com. Okay. So any additional questions, if they're specific to Ryan, I can always shoot him his way or talk to myself. Yeah, for sure. I know where he lives. Ah. All right. Okay. What time are we looking at here, guys? I know. I know. I'm so sorry. It's our almost. This is our longest one yet. We usually like to keep these at 15 minutes. But again, this is also a launch, so just so many, yeah, so, much so much excitement. I'm so amped on it. No, one scoop is 50 calories. 50 calories. Um. Oh no. Oh boy. Mm. Okay. Pretty All good. right. I think we're there, guys. Yeah, a lot of these are. All right, guys. <laughs> yeah. Hope you ordered enough. Yeah. You have 100,000 <laughs> bags, guys. We have got a lot. Oh man, we're off 100,000. Oh boy. Every time we the bane of my existence. Uh, All right, guys. That's it for us. Wow, I can't just close it for Yeah. <laughs> All right. Close it out, Lisa. Sorry, here goes some time. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching us. Um, this has been so exciting for us to introduce to you our amazing college of peptides. We have been so excited, as I know you have been so excited too, and we appreciate your patience, and we cannot wait to get this in your hands. So later this afternoon, guys, order yours today. All right, take it. Thanks for watching.
Have a great week, guys. Thanks. Bye.